Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel e-commerce bulk upload plugin. Now this particular extension allows the store admin to create and add bulk number of products into the Bugisto online store. Using the CSV or XLS file, the store admin can easily and quickly add multiple types of products along with the images as well. Now the products can be uploaded in bulk using a CSV file or XLS file. Data profile creation feature for the admin. Each attribute has a different column. Image attachment option within the CSV or the XLS file. If there's an error in the CSV or the XLS file, then the products will not be uploaded and hence the store admin will come to know about the respective error. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you uh, the process of the bulk uploading of the products by the admin and what the admin needs to do. So the admin basically needs to create a data flow profile then upload the CSV or the XLS product data file and lastly run the profile to bulk upload the products within the store there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of the Laravel e-commerce bulk upload plugin at the backend and I'll be showing you how the admin would be able to bulk upload simple and configurable product types. Apart from that, we have other product types as well like booking product type, virtual product type, and the downloadable product type as well but in today's video we'll just be seeing the simple and the configurable product types so before i proceed further with this particular video tutorial please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now what i'll be doing is i'll be going to the back end panel of the bagisto and I'll be entering the email address, password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. Now uh, after the successful installation of this uh, particular plugin that's the Laravel e-commerce bulk upload plugin what you need to do is you need to navigate to the configure section on the bottom left hand corner here and then here you have to navigate to the bulk upload product section and here you have to enable this status for the configuration of the bulk upload product right and after that you have to tap here on the save button thereafter now after you have enabled this particular option from here and you have saved the configuration then you need to navigate to the catalog section and under the catalog section you will find one option with the name manage bulk upload wherein you will be able to manage the bulk upload for your store there so i've already created a test template here for the data flow profile let me delete that out so here we have three stages that needs to be uh, gone through before bulk uploading the products into the store there. First is the data flow profile. Then we have the upload file section where we can select the attribute family, the data flow profile, choose the CSV XLS or the XLS X file, choose the images zip file. And lastly, we have the run profile section wherein we have to run the profile to uh, bulk upload the products into the store there. So the very first thing that I want to show you is how to create a data flow profile. So here uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be setting the name of the data uh, profile as test uh, template. I'll choose the attribute family as default. I'll choose the locale as English. We can create multiple uh, profiles as well as per our requirement. And then I'll tap here on the save button thereafter. So I have created one profile here with the name test template the default family is default the local is english the creation date is here we can edit or delete it as well now coming to the upload file section on the upload file section here we have two sections one is the download samples wherein you can download the sample uh, csv and the xls files for the simple configurable virtual grouped downloadable bundled and booking product types there and using these CSV uh, files, you can upload the different types of uh, products in bulk into your store as per the requirement there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of the simple and the configurable file types. Uh, and the other option here is the import products, wherein we have the option whether it's uh, having downloadable files or not. If it's having a downloadable files, then we have to upload the link files there and uh, then we have the attribute family from here we'll choose the attribute family here we'll select the pro profile that we had created 
and here we'll choose the XLS file that we have downloaded from the sample section. So after downloading the sample here, for example, here is a bulk uh, simple product CSV file that I've uh, downloaded. This is the, the uh, what we say as the uh, file that we downloaded from here, the sample CSV file. And here you can see that we have different columns like categories, name, description, short description, SKU price, special price from, uh, special price to inventory sources, inventories. So here what you need to do is you need to fill in the details of the product there itself. So under the categories we have set it as root category, the name is watch, the description is temp1, the short description is short description, the SKU is 10, the price is 100, the default inventory source is uh, default, the inventory uh, of this uh, particular product is 123, the weight is 12. Similarly, you can see that we have set it as new, featured, visible individually. Uh, the status has been set to 1, the cost has been set to be 10, the width, height, depth and the type is simple, the attribute family name is there. And here you can see that under images we have set the image name as well. Uh, now what you need to do is you need to put the images in a zip file and set it uh, with the name as images.zip file and that zip file needs to be then uploaded along with the CSV XLS or XLSX file as uh, per the requirement there. So this is a simple file and I've added only one product within it. Now let me show you how we can bulk upload the product into the card there, uh, into, the, uh, into the store there basically. So uh, I'll go to the import product section here. Under the data uh, flow profile, uh, we have created the test template uh, profile. Now, after that, we'll come to upload files. We'll download the sample CSV file. We'll enter the details of the products that we want to uh, upload or the simple products that we want to upload into our store. Uh, then we'll save that particular file. After saving that file, we'll come to this particular section. Here we'll choose the attribute family for the same. Then we'll choose the data flow profile. Then we'll tap here on the choose XLS uh, CSV or the XLSX file and we'll be choosing the CSV file. So I'll go to my downloads. Here I have the bulk simple product upload. I'll open it up. I'll be uploading the image zip file as well. So I'll choose it from my desktop. I've already created one. So here's the images.zip file. I'll open it up. And after doing this, I'll tap here on the save button thereafter. You can see that the profile has been edited successfully. Now if I go to the run profile section, I'll find the test template to be run. So I'll select the test template uh, file or the data flow profile that we had created and I'll tap on the run button thereafter. You'll see that the process would start executing if there are any errors, those, those errors would also be displayed here on the screen itself. So you can see that the particular product has been uploaded into the store. Now if I go to the store front end and I refresh the store front end, you can see the particular watch product has been created in the store. I can tap on the same. The image has also been uploaded there uh, and the rest of the details are also there. You can see that uh, the details that we had entered here, the description was temp1. The same is visible here as temp1. We had set it as short DESC as the short description. Uh, if I show you the same is visible here, the short description. The SKU, the price was set as 100. The price is set as 100, so on and so forth. So this was how we can bulk upload the simple products using the CSV file or the XLS file there. Now let me show you how we can do it for a configurable product there. So the same thing needs to be done here as well. Here we have created the, uh, I've already created a test template uh, profile here. So what I'll do is I'll download, I'll go to the upload file section. I'll download the sample configurable CSV file or the XLS file. For example, if I download this sample configurable CSV file, then that CSV file would look something like this as you can see here. So here we have the same uh, column names like the categories. So here you can give the category name. I've given it as the root category name. Uh, you can give the name uh, as configurable product. The variation product names have to be given. The description, the short description, the SKU. 
uh, the spatial price if any from n2 values the weight then what you need to do is you need to set this cell so features enabled as you can see here we have set it as enabled and then here you can see the type section and the type section you have to give the actual the initial product as the configurable and the variants as the variant name here and then you have to go to the super attributes and give the attribute names like color and size then the super attribute options need to be given like red and small yellow and small green and uh, medium white medium black medium uh, set the attribute uh, price here for the values then the default inventory source need to, need to be selected then the super attribute quantity needs to be set then the super attribute weight needs to be set if you have any images so for example for this example as well i'm using the watch dot uh, jpg jpeg file so after uh, configuring this file here I've, uh, right now what i'm doing is i'm just uploading a single com configurable product now you can add multiple configurable product in the same manner there so for example now let me minimize this out so what i need to do is i need to go to import products here i'll choose the default uh, attribute family i'll choose the template as test template I'll tap here on the choose file option. I'll go to my downloads. I'll select the CSV file for the bulk that I've downloaded uh, as the sample file with the product data there. I'll select it up. I'll open it up. I'll choose the images zip file by going to my desktop and selecting the images.zip file. I'll open it up and I'll tap here on the save button thereafter. Now after saving it up, you can see that the profile has been updated successfully. Now we'll come to the run profile section. And here from the drop down, I'd select the particular data flow profile uh, or the test template that we had created. And I'll tap here on the run button thereafter. Now if there are any errors or errors would be displayed here on the screen itself uh, there. Uh, and the products would then not be uploaded but uh, if there is no error then uh, no warning message would be displayed and the product upload would be completed there so you can see that one of one products have been uploaded uh, successfully now if i go to the front end and uh, i refresh the front end once let me refresh the front end once you can see that the configurable product has been created as you can see and it's as low as $23 it's starting from as low as $23 uh, so if we check it out here uh, here we have this one with the super attribute price as $23 this is the lowest one in the uh, variation there so that's why it's showing as as low as $23 now if I try and open this particular configurable product I'll be able to see the different variations as well that we had uploaded. So here's the image as well. And uh, from here I can choose, for example, red and I can choose small, green, medium, yellow, small, black, medium, white, medium, so on and so forth. So these uh, configurable variations have been created for this particular configurable product. Now the same is visible here in the admin backend panel as well if i go to the product section here you can see the simple product that we had created the watch one default it was simple and we created another product with the name configurable configurable product uh, the same is visible here uh, the type is configurable and here are the variations of the same the variation one two three four and five if you remember we had given the name of the variations here as variation one two three four and five so on and so forth itself so yes that was much about the uh, laravel e-commerce bulk upload plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same and uh, as per your requirement you can go ahead and you can upload the products in bulk for simple configurable virtual grouped downloadable bundled and booking products by downloading the sample csv or the xls files from here uploading the data within the same and then uploading it via this particular section here and then running the profile under the run profile section itself so if you still have any questions queries sessions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise the ticket at bagisto.uvdesk.com as well 
Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.